Welcome back. I'm Roy with Rugged Badger Racing and Team Parts Badger, working on the 80 Hours to Gingerman Champ Car Miata project. To get you up to speed, in the last video, we were working on getting the engine prepped. Uh, we got a, a great motor off of eBay. It's low miles, really, really good condition, almost no leak down. Uh, when we went to put the oil pan on, we noticed we had significant flatness issues with our spare oil pan. And what that can do is cause an issue with the oil pickup, where you get air injected in the oil, you'll end up spinning a bearing. That's exactly what happened on the motor we took out of the car. When we looked at that oil pan, same issue. So that really put us at a stopping point. So today I've been uh, looking at solutions and really the only uh, Egotech Miata swap pan that's available is the one we have. There's no other options on the market. They all have this issue and I really don't want to risk it. So we either have the option of moving back to the Miata motor um, or we can make our own oil pan. Now moving back to the Miata motor means we have to swap out the wiring harness. I do have a spare motor, but I used it in my street car and I used it with a turbo. And I don't know the health of that motor. Now if we make our own oil pan, uh, there's a risk. Uh, would we potentially have the same issue and can we get it done in time? So we have about six weeks uh, before uh, race time. Um, I'm gonna be out of town for about two weeks uh, coming up here. So. What I think I'm going to do is propose to my team the possibility of creating a uh, oil pan on our own. I'm going to be presenting that to them uh, in the next couple of hours here. So we'll see what they say. We'll see if they want to take on this particular project. Let's find out. Welcome back, I'm Brandon with Rugged Badger Racing and Parts Badger, and today we are at the shop working on the oil pan, getting it finished up uh, from machining, and we're gonna take it this evening to do a test fit, so stay tuned to uh, see how well it fits together. All right, I've been away traveling, but hard at work, back at the shop has been the team. They designed an oil pan uh, complete, uh, got that done in CAD, figured out uh, the sump, and we have the first part off the machine. And these guys did a phenomenal job with this. It looks great. I had to make a couple tweaks. Now the guys did not have access to this engine uh, while I was away. Um, so they designed this using the OE pan and the gasket. And it is incredible what they were able to do here. So what I had to do is just trim these little bosses and I had to uh, clear out a little bit more area by the oil pump here. But otherwise this thing fits great. It's really flat. I have a nice seal all the way across. Um, now, I don't know if it'll fit in the car, uh, but uh, this thing looks amazing. And if the Ecotech oil pan works, this one should work too. So I'm really excited uh, uh, what the guys were able to accomplish here. We're gonna add that second pump mechanism that gets on the machine tomorrow. And I'm really excited to get this thing uh, completed and get this back in the car.
All right, so we're making good progress. I have uh, everything laid out here. We have our uh, sump portion of the uh, oil pan here. We have the uh, oil pickup tube that's been welded um, and, and ready to go in. We are not welders, but uh, I believe it's sealed and we are ready to go there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start uh, prepping the baffling. Once the baffling is done, I'm gonna do a cardboard mock-up first. I'm gonna move on to uh, the sheet metal here. Once that's in, this pan's ready to go together and we can get this thing back on the car. So I'm gonna get to it. Okay, I'm back at the shop now. I have the oil pan laid out here. I finally cleared out enough space to put this. I have some baffles uh, that I used, uh, just bent aluminum, and we have these bosses that we put in there that we're gonna be able to screw this to. Now, we had no idea what this was gonna look like when we designed this pan portion. There was only a few design considerations, and that was getting this thing to bolt up and seal properly. The second was, which is kinda hard to catch on tape, are these steps right here. And the reason why I have steps is when you begin to take a corner, this goes up and it's equivalent of a 45 degree angle when you're in a corner because you're pulling about a G and gravity's pulling about a G. So you can think about where oil's gonna pull up. Now, if I have a valley in this area, if I have that as a sharp corner, the only thing that's gonna happen is oil's gonna pull. Now, with those steps there, it's gonna displace, displace more oil and hopefully keep more oil this direction because ideally this entire uh, sump area stays filled. Now, we're gonna create a little section here for this pickup, um, and that's what I have boxed in here. And the idea is that the oil flowing down from the engine is gonna come across here, dump down directly into this space. So it's always gonna fill this space first before it begins to overflow into the other areas. That's the idea anyway. So under braking, the oil is gonna push forward down into this space. It's gonna get trapped in this area. We're gonna have plenty of oil and this should be full. Now when we're accelerating, the oil is gonna push back. We're gonna have a trap door in this piece right here. Any oil that's trapped in this area is gonna to begin to come back as we begin to accelerate. Now imagine this, so you're in braking. You begin trail braking and turning and what's gonna happen with the oil. So the oil over here is gonna go forward. It's gonna go this direction. It'll actually slot under here. It'll get trapped by this wing and it's gonna be pulled in this front section. And then as you're turning, you begin to accelerate. It'll go through the trap door and refill this here. So I think this is gonna be a really good design for this application. Now, we don't have much time. I'm not an engineer. We certainly didn't run through a bunch of simulations or anything like that. I'm just trying to get something together so we can get this thing on the track. I will say that I'm more confident in this design that we're gonna have a proper seal and that the motor's gonna stay together, but we don't know. Um, maybe my baffling is horrible and it won't work and we'll end up blowing the motor. Uh, then we'll move to pan uh, revision two. And I think with pan revision two, we're probably gonna change this oil pickup. This thing has been a nightmare um, to get in place. We welded uh, this assembly here, which we got from Summit. Uh, Summit or Jags or a place like that. I think it's a Moroso generic pickup. Then we modified a tube from another uh, oil pickup. So definitely we're gonna change up this design uh, on the next iteration, but I'm hoping we don't need another iteration at least on this particular car. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing together. I'm gonna finish, uh, finish up the baffling here. I got some things to rivet. I gotta bolt this in place. I gotta mount the trap door. Then I'm gonna get this pan assembled and then I can get it on the car. So let me get to work.
All right, I think we are ready to attach the bottom uh, with the top plate here. So I have the oil pickup. Uh, I have RTV everywhere around this baffling. The baffling's in place. I have the trap door in place. And this was just uh, aluminum. I went ahead and bent uh, some of this at the shop, some of this just with the bench vise here. Um, and I am pretty happy with how this turned out, all things considered. We did not know exactly what we do for baffling. We literally just put some bosses in place and planned to just throw something in. We didn't have enough time. Uh, we needed to get this thing on the machine uh, and we're cutting it really close in order to make it to the race in time. So uh, we actually made a custom gasket here. We used some generic Felpro material and then using a Cricut, which is like a hobbyist cutter used for vinyl and stuff we actually were able to get this thing cut which is amazing um so i'm really happy about that i'm gonna get some rtv on here or more specifically right stuff i'm gonna put that on here gasket another thin layer and then we'll attach these two together all of my uh, bolts cinched down now I need to torque these now it doesn't have a torque specification but I know I'm using m6 bolts and m6 bolts are usually around um, in the Ecotech motor I think they do 89 foot pounds or I'm sorry 89 inch pounds so I'm gonna do like eight foot pounds on all of these and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna torque uh, from the center on each and then work my way out towards the edges get this thing torqued up. Uh, everything went really nicely here. I was able to get all these bolts in. They're nice and uh, flush. So let me grab the torque wrench and get started on that. So I'm actually going to just set to 89. Let's see what 89 feels like. 89 inch pounds. So 16 of these. Now I'm gonna go up to 96. Let's see if I can torque them a little bit more at 96 inch pounds. Ooh, yeah. Definitely moving a little more. Bring it down to 94. Yeah, I don't like how much that's moving. Try 92. All right, so I ended up torquing to 92 inch pounds. I feel good about that. Um, this this guy over here is moving a little too much for me. It's making me a little bit nervous. Now, what I wanna see is nice, consistent movement as I work my way up. Um, I wanna make sure I don't have any like notchiness or anything like that when I'm torquing these down. But this went really well, and I can look around and I actually got, uh, you can see where the silicone actually squeezed out of the pan. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best here. I feel really good about this. Let's take a look. It's the top side. Now these are the uh, two that aren't closed. Uh, so I have the RTV there. Everything looks really good. Um, check this, yeah, I'm happy with this. Um, not gonna add any RTV here because there's nothing really to support that. I don't want that to get sucked up. But I think I have a really good seal with my uh, my pickup tube. So, great. Um, now this is ready. I can, uh, I got a pan that's completed and this thing's gonna be ready to go back on the car. All right, I have my right stuff. I have test fitted my gasket that I purchased from DDM Works. Just like we made our own gasket, I'm assuming they did the same thing uh, here. Everything looks really good. Um, it is a little thin right here, uh, but it's better than no gasket, I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna put some right stuff down, then I'm gonna put the gasket down and more right stuff, and then our pan's ready to go on. All right, so I have a thin layer uh, underneath the gasket, I have the gasket, I have another thin layer. I was really careful around here to make sure that I'm not gonna get any big beads 
uh, that roll up inside of here because this is going to be suction and that's going to suck right into the oil pump. But overall everything looks really good. Um, now it's time to put on the oil pan. oil pan is done and this thing is absolutely gorgeous and I didn't even clean it up yet the team did a phenomenal job to get this pan done we have all this hardware nice and recessed it's nice and flat everything went together phenomenally well and the team did it in under three weeks um, for most of that I've been away the team got this thing designed uh, they got this machine uh, went through all of the, the testing and verification of this. We got the baffling figured out, the oil pickup, which took substantially longer than I would thought. But I'm so happy this is on the car, and I'm so proud of the team for getting this done. Now, we don't do design. We make parts for other people. So this is, this is new for us. Um, it's not like we do this day in, day out. The team really pushed to make this happen, and I, I just can't... Uh, I, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless at how well this turned out. So I'm excited. We should be able to make it to the track. So overall in this project, um, I don't know exactly how many hours, but I think we have about 25, maybe 24 hours of the project left. We are really cutting it close. Um, but this was the critical feature that we needed. Now I think um, getting the motor in the car, so long as we don't have fitment issues, I, I think we're gonna make it. We're gonna be good to go. Now, this pan fixes a lot of issues. Now, obviously we have the flatness issue. We have the, the mating surface to the uh, oil pickup and the oil pickup itself. Plus, I think this is an overall better design because you want a pan that is uh, narrow and deep, not a pan that is wide and shallow because if it's wide and shallow in a corner, what mathematically, it's going to push more oil as a percentage of your capacity away from the sump pickup. If you add extra capacity out to the sides, it actually makes you more likely to oil start. I think this is a better design. I know we can do better um, on the baffling and the pickup. And if this thing works for us, um, we're gonna spin this up, we're gonna make this a product and we're gonna offer it to everybody. Now, if you want a prototype pan, I'll be more than happy to make this for you as well. Just let me know, um, drop me a line. We should be price competitive uh, with everything out on the market. The material um, was really inexpensive, especially in volume. Um, we're gonna be able to make these things at a really competitive price, um, especially considering the design's going to be better. So it should be around the same, maybe, maybe a little bit more um, than what's currently offered. But if you are an Ecotech Miata guy and you are sick of blowing motors, um, this could be the solution. Fingers crossed. We won't really know until we test it, but I am optimistic. So stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe below to see more videos. Obviously, we gotta get this in the car. Uh, we still have suspension and things like that to wrap up. See the car, obviously we, we got the stickers off, we got some paint, some new decals ready to go. Those will be separate videos, so stay tuned for that. Uh, stay tuned for updates on this as well. Once we get it on the street, we start testing it. Um, hopefully I'll get this thing fired up in the next couple days here. I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, thank you again to the team for making this thing happen. I am absolutely amazed. So I think we're gonna make it. Stay tuned.